Well, there's uh, DSM-4, the Diagnostic and Statistic Manual of the American Psychiatric Association, actually uses the term alcohol dependence. Um, and it's a somewhat fluid term. It used to mean that if you showed withdrawal and tolerance for substance, but those turn out to be much more vague than people expect. Uh, so really, it's the severity of your dependence on some kind of an object or substance to get through your daily life so that you really require it for feeling content with yourself, for feeling able to deal with stressful situations and to get through the day. And of course, that definition, when you get to that level of generality, which is appropriate and necessary, you can't say anything more specific about alcoholism because some people have some symptoms, some people have, don't have those symptoms. Uh, loss of control, blackouts, all of those things may or may not appear. When you get to that level of generality in defining addiction, you really see that it's not linked to alcohol, it's not li linked to substances at all. It's a way of relating to the world and the kind of experience that people have. It is not possible to define addiction in a way that applies only to alcohol and drugs, but does not apply to gambling, does not apply to sex, does not apply to relationships, does not apply to any other kind of powerful experience that sometimes people get lost in, in a way that degrades the rest of their life. What if they're, they're heavily involved in an experience, even physically uh, addicted, but they're not, it's not degrading their life? Well, you're using terms that I, you've asked me to define addicted, you've asked me to define addiction, and now you just use the term physically addicted. Yeah. So if you're asking me, you're asking me the question, what if they're addicted, but it's not detrimental to life, then I'd say, well, I don't think that fits the definition of addiction. I mean, there are people that do all things very constantly and rely on certain things. I mean, most people live in the same environment, come home to the same people, sleep in the same bed at night. You could call that a dependence, but since that's not generally detrimental to their life, we, t we don't define it as an addiction. So there's an element, addiction means relying on an experience to the exclusion of everything else in your life in such a way that your rest of your life depreciates. So if your question is, what if an involvement doesn't appreciate your life, then I say, well, it's not addictive. Uh, 